I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say right now, guys. It's morning still. It's still dark out. You can see I still got my morning face on. I don't even know what to say about this. Microsoft is acquiring Blizzard, Activision Blizzard, for like $70 billion. Normally, this is not a video I would make. If it was about Bethesda, frankly, I would not be making this video. But Activision is a really, really important company in this industry that I love so much that uh, despite their faults and despite, you know, Bobby Kotick being a piece of crap, you gotta talk about it, right? So let's get into this. Okay, so I have a New York Times article up about this, and I have not actually read through all the details. I know the acquisition isn't actually finalized yet, so that is... Kind of a good, I'm looking at this at the scope of I don't want this to happen, so that's a good thing. Uh, there is a chance it gets blocked. I know, um, what is it, ARM's trying to buy NVIDIA for $40 billion and they're talking about blocking that, I think, or something. I don't have to stay up too much up to date with them, but uh, let's just read this. Microsoft agreed on Tuesday to buy, to buy Activision Blizzard, the video game maker behind it, hits like Call of Duty and Candy Crush. That's funny that that's the one that's in there. Uh, for $68.7 billion in cash. It is the largest takeover in Microsoft's 46-year history and a big bet on its future direction. The deal plants Microsoft's flag in the emerging battle for dominance in, its, in the so-called metaverse, the next-generation internet that melds the traditional online world with virtual and augmented reality. It is also a challenge to regulators in Washington as Democrats and Republicans alike have pushed to limit the power of technology giants. Also, let me back up. 68.7 billion. Listen, what other company acquisition has costed more than that? I remember people were saying like, oh, wow, but this is one of the, <laughs> the biggest video game acquisitions of all time. That was like, what, 8 billion, 12 billion, something like that, right? 70 billion? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's ridiculous. That can't be. That cannot be right. That is ridiculous. Anyway, let's continue on. In buying Activision, which faced accusations of sexual harassment and discrimination that senior executives ignored, Microsoft appears to be rebu rebuffing a controversy about the game's maker's work workplace culture. The allegations have weighed on Activision, which its shares falling tw with its shares falling 27% since California sued the company in July over the matter. The game maker's shares are up nearly 40% in pre-market trading. Uh, Microsoft's shares fell by 1% after the announcement. So of course Activision's going to go off after this. This makes Activision look so much better. It's like, oh wow, Microsoft wants them, right? Uh, the transaction may be seen as a victory for Robbie Kotick, the Activision's longtime chief executive, whom uh, some critics had sought to ou oust over the controversy. Mr. Kotick negotiated a big premium for investors. Microsoft is paying $95 a share, roughly 45% above his company's stock price before the announcement, and will continue running the company. Uh, yeah, continue, continue running the company. So he's going to stay the chief executive officer, operating officer, whatever, of Activision. Not, wait, for, okay, let's talk about that for a second. A few weeks ago, maybe a few months ago now, when all of the the sexual harassment reports came out of of about Bobby Kotick and all of Activision's workplace culture, Phil Spencer himself said that they're going to reevaluate their relationship with Activision. Guess that meant nothing. <laughs> I guess that meant nothing. So that, that's obviously this deal would have already been well underway when that stuff happened. So, on the one hand, it's like, damn, well, that kind of sucks. But on the other hand, it's like, okay, maybe you really should have reevaluated it, Microsoft. Maybe you really should have. Um, I digress, though. Um, Microsoft would gain Activision's nearly 400 million monthly gaming users and access to some of the world's most popular games, which are expected to form a co cornerstone of the meta uh, metaverse. Combining with Microsoft will also give Activision a cost access to a vast array of artificial intelligence and other programming talent. It would give Microsoft a significant boost, in particular against Facebook, who is renaming its parent company to Meta, underscored its commitment to the metaverse. Adding Activision could, could, could bolster the virtual reality offerings from Microsoft's Xbox unit as it competes with fake, Facebook's off Oculus system. I am interested all about all this met metaverse stuff, because Xbox obviously hasn't mentioned any of this stuff um, which they, they probably is accurate though they probably are like okay we need to we need to really bolster all this stuff before the metaverse happens right and this is the our our our, our future right Gaming is the most dynamic and exciting category in entertainment across all platforms today. and will play a key role in the development of metaverse platforms. Okay, okay, so they did say this. Um, Satya Nadella, uh, Microsoft's chief executive, said in a statement. They did able to also drastically transform Microsoft despite owning Xbox and the studios behind Minecraft and Halo. The company has remained largely focused on corporate users for software like Office 365 and especially Azure, its cloud commuting business that competes with the likes of Amazon and Google. So yeah, this is uh, transformative. Let me switch back. Let me switch back. 
this is the biggest thing to ever happen in the video game industry straight up i'm calling it this is the biggest thing ever people were saying oh uh, Microsoft buying Bethesda that was that was one of the biggest things ever no this is the biggest thing this is the biggest story ever to come out of the video game industry ever period nothing else nothing else comes close if they acquire them this is the biggest story ever this sucks <laughs> okay listen obviously yes okay Activision is a terrible company Bobby Kodak is a terrible person they have terrible employees they need to get their shit together right they are they they are disgusting frankly they really are however i am a pea brain little peasant consumer i know i know a lot of people don't care a lot about call of duty man i don't like me some call of duty with my friends if i can't buy that on playstation and listen i i have i have a 360 now <laughs> i had a series x and i sold it because i was like i ah, i don't really need it if i cannot play call of duty on playstation that is fucked up frankly that is fucked up you have to understand that the bethesda deal yes while that hurt and yes it, it, once again it does hurt that doom and you know fallout and all that and all those great games are not going to be on playstation that's one thing and i know a lot of people like those games more than call of duty call of duty is unanimously the best-selling game every single year i don't know what this is every single year so by doing this they are when, okay, so here's the thing. When, when Microsoft bought Bethesda, Sony was fine, right? That was gonna be fine. It was. It was obviously that sucks. You know they aren't gonna have Starfield and all that. That sucks. This hurts Sony. This this directly is fucking with them because every year Call of Duty is their best selling game. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Okay, so this is, I thought this would be fun for this video. Um, because I don't even, <laughs> like I said, I just woke up. I'm still trying to process. I brought up, uh, let me see here. Uh, let me go back to this screen. I brought up the Activision Blizzard page. And I, I that's another thing I haven't even talked about. Blizzard, Overwatch, Diablo, Worldcraft, uh, Starcraft, all, all this stuff. So, that's huge. Um, Blizzard, also another <laughs> terrible company that I haven't really dealt with in a while. I, didn't, I haven't played Overwatch for a long time. but um, And, oh, of course, all the, the mobile games, Candy Crush and all that. But I want to go to their uh, IPs. Is that, a, is that a thing on here? Is that a thing I can do? I want to look at everything they own. Maybe if I go here, bam, and then King, I'm not really worried. Okay, right, here we go. List of Activision games, list of Blizzard games. So we'll start with Blizzard. If this deal goes through, Microsoft will own all of these series. Uh, Warcraft, obviously, Diablo, Starcraft, uh, World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, that's a huge one, uh, Heroes of the Storm, Overwatch, and then, uh, I mean, okay, listen, here's the thing with, with Blizzard, right? They might not have the number, but that is legacy right there. That is some legacy right there. If you get three games in any of those series out of year, like bro, that's that's huge. That's that's really a lot of IP. If you if you look at well beloved IP, you know you get an Overwatch out for that is endless and people love for ten years. Great, you get a World of Warcraft game out on Xbox, bro, it's over. Uh, Diablo Immortal, if that if they can fix that or not Diablo Immortal, that's a mobile game. Well, I guess that too, but also Diablo Four. Um, let's see if I can see. Here we go. Notable games published. So they might not actually own every single IP here, but um, I think this this will give us a good idea. Um, obviously, all the like Atari 2600 games that's that's theirs. Um, uh, let's see here, Last Ninja, X. No, obviously they don't. Yeah, obviously they don't own X Men. Uh, Call of Duty. That's the first big one. Uh, Wolfenstein. They don't. They don't own that. Well, I guess that. I guess they do own that anyway, right? Uh, because of Bethesda. Let's see what else we have here. Gun, Guitar Hero. They own Guitar Hero now. I could see Microsoft being like. Guitar Hero back. I could see that. Uh, they don't do James Bond anymore. Crash Bandicoot. So these are the two things. Two. One up two. Two things that I'm actually welcomely excited excited for. The only issue is uh, here's the thing. My, Microsoft has been not handling Banjo Kazooie well, and I know Banjo Kazooie is kind of a niche series, and like, why would they really do it? But like. If they wanted to make a space in that 3D platforming genre, then they could have done it already with Banjo-Kazooie. But 
this does, I think, give Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the chance to actually have new games and love put into them through this acquisition. So in my mind, this is the this is the only this is the only upside to this entire thing is that Spyro and Crash may be in good hands now. That's basically that's basically the only good thing out of this entire acquisition. Uh, they own Secure. I, well, actually, I'm not. Does From Software own the IP for Secure? I'm not sure how that one works. Battle Zone, of course. Tony Hawk. I think we would definitely get more Tony Hawk games. Um, Quake, which they already owned. Battle Zone. Um, just a ton of IP. Like the thing, people always talk about uh, Activision. Let me switch over again. People always talk about Activision and how oh they only have Call of Duty, right? They only do Call of Duty every year. When it comes to an acquisition like this, well, obviously yes, Call of Duty is the biggest thing you could acquire, but also. Activision and Blizzard combined have a cavalcade of IP, of old IP that is being sitting there being wasted that Microsoft now owns if, the, if this deal goes through. They own all of that. That is huge. That is like, at that point, they're getting to like a Nintendo level. I mean, they probably are past Nintendo level after this, right? Um, obviously not of like high quality IP, but just vast number of IP. In today's climate, IP ownership is everything because God, dude, I really hope this deal doesn't go through and I'm not like, okay, listen, I, I like Xbox. It's fine. I, I had an Xbox one S for like four years or whatever. Then I got a series X and then I sold it. Cause I just wasn't like feeling it. You know, I wasn't like, okay, I don't really need, I have a PS five, right? No company should be allowed to have a monopoly, not monopoly like this. I can kind of understand how it happened with Disney. Because it happened over the course of a hundred years. With this, what's happening with Microsoft is happening overnight. It's happening over the course of maybe five years, where they're acquiring all these studios and really creating a monopoly over the entire gaming industry. Not good. Not good. Not a good look. Should okay. Here's my thing, right? Just to quell any people saying like, "Oh, you just don't. You're just upset that Xbox made a win." No, I don't care. All games should be on every platform, dude. It'd be awesome if God of War was on Xbox. It'd be awesome if Mario was on PS5. Like, dude, it, I don't care. I just want people to be able to play what they want where they want, right? That's the thing. No company should be allowed to have a monopoly like this. This is kind of disgusting. Um, I thought Bethesda was as far as they go because they had a true... They did have a true history with Bethesda, at least Game Softworks. Bethesda parenting company and parent company not as much maybe but this they had a they had DLC with Call of Duty for like seven years I guess but outside the other stuff like Blizzard games I guess PC Microsoft you know that's there I guess but for the most part man I just oh man I don't really oh they own Skylanders now if they, if they want to bring back Skylanders I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too surprised if Microsoft was like yeah just throw a Skylanders game out no figures, just put it up on the on the Xbox store. I can't believe this. Uh, sorry, this is kind of a thrown together video. I had to talk about this because I normally I wouldn't uh, talk about something like this, but this this is just had to be talked about. I'm sure over the coming days we'll have many more developments, and whether or not this will actually go through, we'll know in a few months most likely. Um, but I I had to talk about this because I I don't know, man. <laughs> I. Owning Call of Duty, I, I'm, it's, not, it's not about the console war. That's not what this video is about. But I do have to say, owning Call of Duty is the, that's like people, are, I remember, okay, here's the thing. When when they bought Bethesda, everybody was like, oh man, they're going to buy Take-Two next. They're going to own Rockstar. That means they're going to own GTA. Microsoft's going to buy GTA, GTA 6 exclusive. You know what's a bigger deal than that? Call of Duty, way bigger deal. I'm sorry. Owning Call of Duty is a significantly bigger deal than owning GTA. It's not even close because Call of Duty is every year. Owning G owning Call of Duty, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. Maybe if you own Pokemon, maybe that might be more worth it. That's the only that's the only series that might be more worth more than Call of Duty. I mean, it is because it's a, as a media franchise, it's way bigger. But as a game series, Pokemon is the only thing that might be bigger than Call of Duty. I'm rambling. I'm going to sign off here, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think of this crazy acquisition down in the comments below. I I love crazy news like this because it's fun to discuss and debate. 
but also I hate it because the con con the consolidation of our industry really is happening. All that's left is EA and Ubisoft, and at this rate, I wouldn't be surprised if another company tried to buy those two, especially Ubisoft. Um, but there you guys have it. If you enjoyed this video, this, this discussion, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on the entire situation. Uh, of course, if you liked it, subscribe, comment, all that stuff, like the video. Follow me on Twitter, at Botox Games. And until next time, I'm going to go get some more sleep. Bye-bye.